conversation about this about just a couple of days ago. Right. You know, because I've seen you tirelessly out here on your own doing a lot of things that with some relationships and with some people that believe in that, that's pointing in the same direction of, and want to achieve the same goal that if you want those people together, wow, I, can, I, I know it would be powerful. Yeah. All right. So, you know, I've always I'm, been I'm so in your you. corner. Fact. And I'll always be in your corner, and I'll always be that OG that try to give you whatever information or whatever knowledge I have to pass on so that you guys can continue to do on. Because, you know, me and Senators get like over the hill, man. <laughs> Big for yourself. <laughs> hey, hey, but, but you know something? We have pounds and pounds of knowledge in us, pounds of it, and resources that we could bring to the table. All right. So you know where I'm at. I'm, I'm, I'm down with it. I've been wanting this for a long time, and I'm glad that you're facilitating this. No, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for being a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, next, we're going to go to uh, Mr. Hub himself. Recently found out me and this guy is uh, related. <laughs> Mr. Al Tariq Best, man. What's up, Rick? What's up? What's up, dude? Thank you for allowing us to be here today, bringing us all together, man. I'm the CEO and founder of The Hub, Help Us Become Better, um, Arts and Promise Center here in North on Prince Street. Been doing this work for the last 14 years and watching dude grow up in the music business and, and, and seeing all of this stuff. And we, we got similar mindsets. We're utilizing the arts as a way of helping to heal our community. So the hub is all about entertainment, education, and empowerment. And, you know, just try to utilize those three prongs to be able to help our community become better. So thank you. Appreciate you for being here, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, next up, we're going to have um, Ash Key. What was it? Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so my name is Ashley Brown. Um, I reside in Essex County, North, but I work for New Pathway Counseling. So we service adolescents and young adults with substance abuse and alcoholism. Mm. So, thank you for being on. Cool. I'm sorry? And I said thank you for coming on. Of course, of course. Appreciate it. Uh, Next up, uh, we're gonna go with um, Mr. Benedict Guerrier. You gotta yeah, unmute your phone. Oh, there you go. Unmute the phone, Benedict. I heard you one. You still there? You still there, Ben? Uh, just lost him. All right, cool. He's he back. All right, I can't cool. hear you. Yeah. There you go. Tell him who you are, Ben. <laughs> you might have your you might have your hand over the speaker. Yeah, nah, he got his, he got earpieces. Oh, got yeah, and it's not coming through. Now it just sounded better. Everybody else, need their phone, please. How about right now? There you go. All right, that's perfect. All right, what's well, so, up? Um, I'm a community developer in the city of Newark. I've been here since 2006. Very proud of my city and all of the things that's going on. I specialize in uh, buying properties. I probably purchased over 150 properties in the last 10 years. I own a La Rouge restaurant and lounge in a uh, very proud of my real estate school, Rico Institute. Always looking to empower others to see how we can take this message and just bring it across the earth. So I'm very excited about what's going on in the planet right now. And, you know, like uh, Martin Luther King always saying, the justice a whole part of the world, justice everywhere. So, I'm happy that the world is having a global week. So, dude, this is such a tremendous Thank you for being a part, man. Um, next, we're going to go up to Bishop Purnell. Y'all squad. 
Uh, very happy to be here. Uh, very happy to see a uh, uh, free, freeholder and senator. Uh, do it all is a very good friend of mine. Um, I uh, like to consider myself the ultimate servant. So any way I can be of any help, uh, I make myself available. Appreciate you, Bishop. Thank you, Stu, for being a part, man. Uh, Carlos. Dude, thank you so much. It's a, it's a blessing to be here. I'm uh, Carlos Lanyx, the president and CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters for Essex, Hudson, and Union Counties. But we're based in Newark. Uh, I've been doing this for 12 years. And before that, I was an administrator of a school in Newark for five years. So and my office was literally across the street from where I am today. So I haven't moved much because I think the work is long term. It's not for the minute or the moment. It's for the marathon. Um, it is a blessing to be here. And, and, and I'm grateful for uh, being included. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Carlos, for being on, man. They do some great work over there. So we're going to get busy, too, Los. Uh, Sent. Mr. Artist Extraordinaire Sent. Hello, guys. How are you? Hey, son. My name What's is up, brother? My name's Chris Reyes. Uh, I'm an artist, DJ, muralist, um, connector, um, taste man. Um, extraordinaire, but I'm, I'm getting there close. Um, I've been uh, born and raised in North. I've been doing uh, art uh, and street art since 1989, and I work with the community. I help the, I show, I uh, paint murals with the kids, provide programs, and uh, do art shows. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for coming on, sir. Sent is actually the one that we're doing the, uh, the murals with right now, as well with Red Man and Kenny. Um, Mr. Dame Dash, you still on? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, <clears throat> let me uh, let me get off the mute. Yeah, I'm here. Um, what up, Dame? So, so. I know everybody's like, well, Dame is not from Essex County or Newark, New Jersey. So I just wanted to let everybody know, too, uh, why I have Dame Dash on. I do a lot of work with Dame Dash, and Dame Dash has shown a lot of interest in Newark, New Jersey, you know, through our lounges and, and uh, possibly through our real estate, you know, and he's just a great connector, and he believes what we're doing in the city of Newark, New Jersey, you know, and, and we talk a lot about different things, about moving the needle forward, and he is definitely one of my, my great uh, relationships, friends, and, and resources. And we do a lot of things together. So I just wanted to welcome Dane to the call. Thank you. And, um, you know, I think my responsibility here is being that I have a platform, I have a television network to make everyone that is fighting the good fight, the real good revolution, you know, economic empowerment, not complaining, you know, doing things for free that they don't have to you know, just fighting for love. I feel like those are the people that should be famous. So my job is to make them famous, make it cool to fight for something, a cause, a purpose, especially love, and you know, just economic empowerment overall. So I love everything that Do It All is doing, the bishop, everyone that I've met and that uh, Do It All has connected me with has been about that action. So my job is just to televise it and make that the cool thing to do. And I appreciate y'all letting me be here. Thanks, Dan, for coming on, bro. Thank you for coming. Uh, we're going to move a little faster. So we have Dele. Dele, my bro, 06. Good evening, everyone. Peace and blessings. My name is Dele Oladapo. Uh, Dupree and I are frat brothers of both outros. I'm also a big hip hop fan, so I followed Dupree you know, in my earlier days. And then. Um, I've been a, a executive at Prudential um, for about 20 plus years, uh, working downtown Newark. Um, I'm also the president of the Newark Alphas. i um, been doing work in the community for the last five years. I'm from New York, but um, Newark is really like my adopted city. I love Newark. We do community service uh, mentoring program with South 17th Street. We've been doing that for five years. Just started a second mentoring program with Ruiz, um, A. Spencer. Um, we've got a lot of young alphas from schools like NJIT and Rutgers, and they're very hungry to be able to do more community service. They're obviously fired up by everything that's happening in the community. 
The timing is perfect for this decree, so thank you so much for enlightening corporations, at least at the moment, are far more aware of Same what they should be doing with us. So there's really opportunity to move the needle as far as economics. We have a house that's going to be built, out the house that's going to be built to serve the community and we raise some money and we need to raise some more money. So anything I could do to, to help the movement, I'm 100% there and I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Degree. Thank you for coming, bro. All right, uh, Dorian Tisdale. Hey, what's going on, Zoo? Peace, bro. Um, peace, peace. Uh, my name is Dorian Tisdale. I am the uh, chairman of a nonprofit organization called League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And uh, we started off a mentoring organization, mentoring kids between the ages of 6 and 25. And what we were doing, we're teaching kids how to cook. We were teaching them about uh, personal hygiene, grooming, um, conduct, speech. To, uh, teach them how to um, conduct themselves in interview, interviews, fill out resumes and things like that. But since the pandemic, we became a total outreach organization, feeding the homeless, feeding the senior citizens and giving to the community uh, any way that we can. And um, not for nothing, I used to be a backup dancer for Mr. Dupre Kelly. I'm proud to say it. I don't care. I used to be a backup dancer for Dupre. <laughs> my very old school was so crap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that's my brother for a long time, man. I appreciate Definitely. the invite, brother. I'm here a thousand percent. Thank you, man. I appreciate you bringing your army on board, bro. For real. Absolutely. Doug, peace to Doug from the South Ward. Hey, what's up, Doug? Uh, Doug Freeman, part of numerous organizations, you know, just to name a few. Um, we we part of the South Ward Community Police Relations Organization. We just formed the Southport Economic Development Corporation, uh, which we've been dealing with the COVID-19 relief efforts. Uh, just want to be part of this collectively together and work together as a community. Thanks, dogs, for tuning in, bro. Uh, Jackie, Jackie Lake. Good evening, everyone. How are you? I hope all is well. My name is Jackie Lake, also known as Jack Slate. I live right here in Newark. I'm a celebrity life strategist. So I'm a life coach for everyone who needs help um, and just needs some guidance to really help them, whether it be through this pandemic, through financial issues, through personal issues. I'm there to support you through that. I'm also an author. I wrote the book, I Am Bigger and So Are You, which is an amazing empowerment book for children and families. It has topics such as uh, teaching children about anger, stress, decision-making, real estate, financial literacy, uh, and just about being kind and loving and emotional intelligence. Uh, I also work directly with Duke. Uh, we're working on a, pro a big project now as well. And um, I love 211 and everything 211 and Do It All stands for. And it's a pleasure to uh, see you all tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. Uh, Kenny Ruffin. What up, Kay? You there? Hey, yes. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much. First of all, uh, do it all. Like, I really, really appreciate you involving me in this. Um, I'm Kay. My name, real name is Karshan Ruffin, but everybody calls me Kay. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I represent IYO. That's International Youth Organization. It's a homegrown 50 year running organization and we are really moving towards the future. Um, I have a media uh, and broadcast and print journalism background, public relations as well. So one thing, I work as a volunteer unit coordinator for IYO um, and that's basically just to be able to involve the colleges in the moving forward of IYO. So getting Rutgers, getting CN Hall, I just was able to get um, a market research project uh, um, solidified for us for their next semester. So um, I'm just I'm just really focused on helping my people and one way that I really can contribute because I'm here to learn. First of all, I think I'm probably the youngest of everybody in this room and I'm and I'm proud of that because I'm really learning from everybody who all done an amazing work in the community. I've been watching and now I feel like it's my time, not only my time, but my generation I represent millennials and we are really ready to bridge that gap between history and, you know, the future movement. So I'm just appreciative to be here and I look forward to anything that we can do. Um, I'm, I'm 
starting to get plans together to create uh, like this black media market. So the tri-state area is something that I want to hone in on, but hopefully it can cross all the way over to the West Coast and really like hone in on our communities and giving the information and the resources that we need and we're putting together and not putting out false information. And like Dame said, you know, just people who want to win, people who are, are all about love, I would love to promote that to my people. So that's what I'm here for. So hi, everybody. Thanks, Kat. Uh, next up, we have Ms. Kim J. Ford. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. My name is Kim J. Ford, supporter of 211 Community Impact and Do It All. But today, my capacity is that of the owner of Brand Marketing Group. We are a boutique agency here in Newark, New Jersey. And everyone may or may not know my agency for seven years has been the agency erected for Lincoln Park Coast Cultural District, nonprofit for strategy, and also on the arts and culture initiatives. Uh, we're happy to be here. We're big on collaboration, just in terms of, you know, what would have been our 15th anniversary festival season earlier on, where we would have been, you know, programming since April. We pivoted due to the COVID pandemic and immediately um, through our health and wellness initiatives, uh, started feeding seniors, kind of a combination through our uh, garden program, our Lincoln Park Community Garden uh, Program, as well as health and wellness initiatives. So the senior buildings in Lincoln Park since April, ongoing every week on a Thursday, uh, we've probably fed or delivered at least 8,000 meals, uh, fresh food drop-offs to them. Um, and as we have had to, as other arts and culture initiatives have had to do, uh, we're pivoting to be able to have some sort of virtual season, but more importantly, what this is allowing us to do is use our platform to be able to communicate information, to be able to have conversations. Um, as I uh, believe do it all you said at the beginning of this meeting. So it's not just about, you know, shaking your butt to arts and culture. It really is about how do we leverage arts and culture to one, kind of help with the research of the creative economy and looking at our arts community and how people are suffering, but also how we're working with the seniors. How do we expand that? How do I listen to hear what you all are talking about? And how do we incorporate some of these things into what we have planned for the rest of the year and can work collaboratively in order to maximize and multiply and amplify voices and get messages out there, whether it's um, COVID contact tracing, whether it's getting out the vote. Um, we, we, we're battling so many wars on so many fronts right now. So just how we can work together to use our platform to help get that word out, we are at the table. And thank you, Drew, for inviting me. Thanks for coming, Cal. Appreciate it. Uh, next up, we have Ms. Marcy DePena. MD, DJ MD. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. It's so nice to see everybody. So many familiar faces here. Thank you, Du, for the invitation. Um, you know, in this moment, it's just Not a problem. to be, yeah, it's really great to see so many familiar faces and faces and, and people that have been doing the work, sometimes very quietly for a very long time, yourself included, Du. Um, <laughs> When you do something, we do see it, but you do so much that people don't even know that you're doing. Um, so thank you to all of you for putting in that work. Um, I've been living in Newark now for almost three decades, which is crazy, um, but a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, I adopted home. I'm from Massachusetts originally. Um, my personal mission is to help raise the frequency of the world. Um, doing that through primarily through music, through sounds. I have a show called Forza, and I'm DJ MD on that show and my DJ work. Um, a lot of people that are on this call have been guests of mine, including Du and Sen and Kim. And um, yeah, the purpose of the show is to really uh, be a megaphone for the community, for people that are doing positive things, whether you're an artist or an, an, you know, a, an, an activist or 
working in politics or a healer, um, if you're doing something positive in the community, uh, I, I really, my main goal is to be able to highlight those things and expand that to a greater audience. Um, and really to the audience that of people that listen to me, many of people who are looking for opportunities and ways in which that they can also help to uplift, uplift our communities. Um, I'm also the executive director of Newark Riverfront Revival, which is the organization that programs Riverfront Park. I've been in that role since 2014. Um, worked with many of the people that are here on that um, arts and culture programming, uh, work around environmental justice, one of the very silent uh, things that we are all facing in our community, but that becomes extremely obvious when we're dealing with issues such as we dealt with um, and are still dealing with in Flint, Michigan. Um, and certainly there's a parallel in North New Jersey with those same types of challenges, um, which are directly you know, tied to systematic racism and issues that we're all you know, nationwide and globally really focusing on. Um, I'm also a content creator. I work for iHeartRadio. I produce podcasts for them, and I'm on the board of Newark Arts. So the arts, using the arts as a way to connect with people and inspire people, um, whether through healing or to um, contribute to the social, environmental, and human rights justice uh, causes that are so critical for us to be living in a world that is sustainable for everyone. And I think we've all come to the point where we realize that's the only option. So thank you, Du, for having me here. It's great to be a part of such a powerful group of thought leaders, and I'm looking forward to what we can all create together. Thanks, Mars. Thanks for being on. Uh, next up, we have Miranda McFadden. Hey, Du. Hey, everyone. I was born in Newark, raised in East Orange. I don't have a title. I just work with 211 whenever Do needs me. I'm a soldier and a servant. That's all. <laughs> we appreciate you, Em. Definitely, man. <laughs> Thank you. Natasha Dyer. Hello, everyone. I am Natasha Dyer. I'm born and raised here in North New Jersey. Um, I currently serve as Deputy Director at York Trust for Education, which is um, focused on improving the conditions for learning for children in public schools across the city. Um, one of our primary focus areas is um, school-wide implementation of social-emotional learning, which includes um, mental health and wellness, not only for children, but for families as well. And um, as you can imagine, that has been in high need, especially at this time. Um, and I also serve on the Leadership Council of Arts at Newark. And I just want to thank you for bringing us all together. Um, I think it's extremely important for us to leverage our collective resources um, and social and political capital as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tasha. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Mr. Rafi Skipper. What up, Fee? See you on. Fee, you there? Unmute your phone. I'm doing how come I got you. I'm here. You got me? There know. you go. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? Thank you for inviting me. Bro. I'm just here, you know, to get enlightened by all the intelligent people you out here. That's all. Sitting outside the park. About to lay down and just. Appreciate you being in the park, Fee. You already know. Nah, yeah. Nah, you know, I told you I was going to tune in. I need, you know, I need all the insight. And Crazy. Thank you, everybody. Hello. No doubt. <laughs> and I'm Appreciate a Appreciate you for coming on, Fit. I'm a no um, Maggie. Maggie. Phrase. I'm sorry. <laughs> you already know. How you doing, everybody? No doubt. He's four. Can you hear me? Hey, Maggie, how you doing? I'm fine. I'm, this yes. is my first time on, on Zoom, so I haven't used it yet. <laughs> so I'm still getting acquainted, but I have, um, hello exactly. to everybody. <laughs> only for you, Dil. Only for, for you. Explain who you are. Okay, so I'm Maggie Freeman. I'm with Weekway Park Sports Authority. I'm also active as a community um, advocate in the Southwood area of Newark. Um, we definitely um, have been out here for the last eight years active just try to do, you know, what we can on behalf of the community. Um, and wherever I can lend a hand, I'm, I'm here to support. 
Thanks, Mag, for coming on. I uh, believe is one, uh, who is Suleiman? You did? Hey, peace, 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 uh, everybody. I can't really see anybody but Pop. So all this time, I don't know if you can see, I was drawing a picture of Pop because I couldn't see anybody else. Wipe to the left or to the right. You see everybody else. What you do? No, nah, I come on my phone for some reason. I, all I see is him. If you swipe to the left or to the right, you'll see everybody else. Okay, thank you. Appreciate I that. I need that. I need. I need that drawing too. As soon as yeah. it's done. Yeah, but my name is Pookie Miles Way. I'm one third of Three to Art Way. We are an artist group out of Newark. I've been in Newark residence for about ninety nine percent of my life. I'm still a Newark mm -hmm. resident. Um, me and Joe all, as well as other artists, have collaborated um, to do beds that we're going to give away to uh, Needy Kid. So that was a, a great project. I also am a muralist, and I worked on uh, one of the projects I worked on was the IYO building um, and other uh, buildings in the community. At some point, I was actually um, teaching children at the, uh, the Bolden Center, uh, teaching them where we are in our, uh, our illustration, our development. Um, I'm looking forward to collaborating with other artists and build a platform where we can actually have our own uh, galleries and own our own galleries and actually push that. So we don't have to wait for anybody to tell us when we can have art exhibits. We can create our own exhibits. So this is something that I want to push forward with me and my own collective. And I hope to just continue to push positivity because that's what we need. I'm also a North Board employee, so put that so, out there. So I, we have, um, it says, I think it says Sprint Production or, or Spring Production DFW's iPhone. Who is that? Yeah, so that's Spring East. Oh, that's right. <laughs> right. What up, right? <laughs> hi, hi. Thanks for inviting me. Sure. Thank you for your leadership, too. Um, here to offer my services. I support you 100 percent every time you call i'm always here um in newark resident born and raised graduated weekly with the Essex county currently work for Rutgers behavior health building and also university hospital on an addiction service that was specially designed for the opioid crisis so we have an outpatient suboxone clinic um, i have a lot of resources as far as mental health um, addiction services trauma um, just resources uh, through the hospital, um, Rutgers graduate, obtaining my um, certification of drug and alcohol counselor. And um, I started my own nonprofit. I work on the do as much as possible to try to, you know, um, provide these services throughout our community and just collaborate as much as we can. Um, the name of my nonprofit is All Societies Against Prescription Abuse. So I want to bring the prevention and awareness that we need so that the young youth that's taking the opioids and pills won't turn out to, you know, taking the bag of heroin later on in life. Like we've already seen that cycle over and over again. Yep. So, um, once again, I'm definitely, you know, here to serve, you know, the community and bring us up from this addiction crisis. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. Salute. Salute. I just got to say one thing about Ray, man. Ray... <laughs> She can walk down any block in this city if somebody knows her, man. But um, next up, I, I believe we have the Congressman Donald Payne on now. Yes, sir. Congressman, how yeah, you doing? Yeah. Where is he? Unmute, unmute your phone. Yeah, that would help. That would help, right? How y'all doing? Yeah. How All you right. doing, Congressman? Yo, what I miss? So we're just doing an introduction right now, telling everybody who we are, you know, and uh, we're just talking about community um, collaboratives and partnership and, you know, we're just introducing everybody right now. You're the last one. All right. Um, Congressman Donald Payne, um, the representative for the 10th Congressional District of the state of New Jersey, which takes in towns in Union County, Essex County and Hudson County in New Jersey. Thank you too, Congressman, for being on. Um, so with with every with all of the introductions, man, once again, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. If you if you tuned in a little late, just to reiterate, this Zoom meeting, man, this call is to 
partner to bring everybody to the table who I know just personally have been doing great things in our city and our surrounding cities and in our county. I've been doing a lot of things myself, but like I said earlier, we work in so many different silos that, and we, we all are really shooting for the same thing. And I believe that if we collectively come together and we put, a, put our resources and relationships in a collective pot and, and talk about some of the things and the movements and the moves that we wanna make, then I believe we can do it in a, in a greater pace, in a greater way, you know? So this is why I'm asking all of you guys to, to come on onto this call and to really talk, have a, a conversation about framework. But frameworks takes framers, you know? And, and what does those framers look like? What does that, that coalition look like? And uh, myself and Pop, we discussed some of the things that that we believe what, what some of that framework look like, you know, and, and how does that connectivity happen between people, places, and different organizations, you know? Uh, and, and we talked about some of them, you know, we have on this phone right now, we have people who are very innovative. We have pioneers, people who didn't pioneer certain programs within our city, uh, like um, Senator Rice and, and Rufus Johnson and, and other people, um, even like Altary Best. You know, um, so we want to see what those frameworks look like. What does someone look like being on the front line? And right now, being that we have war, we need everybody on the front line, arms locked, chills up, you know, and ready to blast. And, and just to put it frank. So you want to go ahead, Pop, and, and discuss the, the framework that we were thinking about? All right. So looking through history and understanding certain places and in, in in each community, there's different levels and there's different groups within communities. So um, when you look at it, it, the framework of a community basically break down into 10 parts, right? You have, and I'll, I'll just run through them and then, then I'll go in specifically about which ones are which. Um, you have weavers, experimenters, you have frontline responders, you have visionaries, visionaries, you have builders, uh, caregivers, disruptors, healers, storytellers, and On this phone, you probably have all 10 of those uh, people on this Zoom. Because it's important to understand that through all of the crisis or whatever happens within your community, there's a those weavers and then you have Dupree who would be a weaver also who can take people from different um, environments and put them all in one room. That's the most important part of it is that we become comfortable with the language that we speak within the environment that we come from in order to have one thought, one understanding, which is in having that perfect understanding, which is we have a responsibility to community to um, to stabilize some, to elevate most and empower all. That is our responsibility, right? Um, it's, it's, we have a responsibility to the ones that came before us, the ones who will be here after us and what goes on today. And a part of looking at a lot of the initiatives that we've done over the years throughout the city of Newark, there's a lot of uh, voids and there's a lot of places that need our attention. But because you have 14 to 15 people who are on this Zoom that found a place of comfort for them to be the best person that they can be, um, which is their pursuit of helping someone else, right? Which is making something bigger than themselves we can begin to use this as the table to connect. Because one thing, if you look at politics and you look at what's going on in the world is, if you're not 
at a table, most likely you're on the menu to be victimized. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's one of the greater things that you will see, whether it's taking care of children, whether it's taking care of the elderly, whether it's providing simple things as much as PPE or even um, water when, when we was having a water crisis. I appreciate everyone for being here. Um, it's going to be an uphill battle to make sure it's going to be a fight to make sure that we are all here for each other and that we can all find a way to bridge that gap of communication because everyone has a cry. Everybody that's on this Zoom today has a cry, a help for help, or they have a void somewhere within the system that they're working in, whether it's whether it's in art whether it's in mental health, whether it's in drug addiction, whether it's in advocacy or being a part of a nonprofit, everyone has a war cry. Everyone needs help somewhere. So the more that we can connect and the more that we can find ways to be at the same table to discuss um, part of the, pro the problems, but I promise you everyone can bring a table full of solutions because we've all battled something in our environments over the past 10, 15, 20 years, or however long you've been committed to service to others, that can help someone else today. And that's a part of it, right? It's being able to have this, the dialogue, to be able to have this system infrastructure, to be able to have the contact where someone can pick up the phone and go say, hey, Carlos, how can we help bring Boys and Girls Club I mean, how can we help bring big brother, big sister to our school? Or, hey, um, I don't want to say his name wrong, Dolly, how can we figure out certain things as far as infrastructure or finance? Or how can we bring these things together? That's a part of it because everybody's working somewhere and they have a fight and they don't know there's somebody else having the same fight. So I appreciate you for, for being very, very, very uh, adamant about doing this. And, and ooh, so, and a part of it was we were supposed to do it, we were supposed to do it uh, in person. He's like, nah, let's do the Zoom. And this is the beginning. And I just want to say thank you guys. And I appreciate, I appreciate you all for being here. But again, the community framework of it all is we all possess the power. We all possess a superhero power because we've decided to um, think about or en engulfing ourselves in the needs of someone else and and it takes a certain type of person in order to do that and I, I just want to say that today is day one right so it's either one day or day one and today is day one so you know it, it's, it's more so I'll send this stuff out to everybody because I believe that we should have a follow-up conversation. And then I'm taking on all information as far as anyone uh, helping to establish how we can begin to, I, I guess, how can we begin to mold this into a greater thing? Do. Do. Yeah. Hey, hey um, so, yes, sir. So, no, no. so here we go. Um, you know, any time that you're talking about bringing people together, man, and, and you know that takes action, right? And and there's a, there's going to be a lot of different concerns and you know the things that we need to overcome. And I just believe like it's it's, it's often hard, right, to, to know where to start when you want to get people to join you in your action. But right now, I believe it's the it's the best time because we have so many things that are going on that don't only affect your city. You know, things that happen federally, usually we don't see the trickle down a lot when it comes to our community. But right now, it is directly affecting our communities. And if we're not standing arm in arm and locked in, then we're really in trouble, you know. So um, I want to, before before we, I want to, Senator, are you there? I would love for you to um, to give us a, some some wisdom, man, on on because you have built so many different frameworks in our city of Newark, man. I would love for you to give some wisdom to all of the people that we have on the phones connected to. Uh, it's different than when you guys were out because we have a little more access. Dame Dash has a television network. 
We have media companies, we have entertainment, we have different ways that we can attack from the media by being owners of our medium uh, of media and, and entertainment arts. So we have educators, we have uh, people in law enforcement. Um, can you just give us a, just kind of, you know, say something about how do we co collectively and correctly put this, this framework that we have together from your experience? Senator, still there? Can you hear me? There you go, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. I just want to say once again, thank you to it all. And for those who've come on the call, it make me feel good um, with, 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 with my, my, my tenure, if you will, in the city of Newark and all the frustration and things that still exist today that I've seen 30, 40 years ago. But we had young people involved back then. Rufus is a product of me, um, but they went different ways because politically the folk who people look up to to do the right kinds of things at the local level, particularly on the council and the mayor, always gave them bad direction from my perspective. And a lot of young people, Rufus will tell you, wind up just falling off and they were very bright people. We didn't have the IT stuff that you have today in the social media network. So we had to do it the old fashioned way, knock on doors and hang out and just bring people together. I think today, just to people out here in organizations on this Zoom, it makes me feel good because you're Newarkers and you're communicating. What you have to do is to lay out what you have. Um, an example is that there were some brothers and street doctors and others, and you know them, who came out of prison and back in the day, every time there was a violent action out in the street or someone killed, they all responded and the media gave them bad press because they would do things that would cause the media to give bad press. But they had different, they had different missions, if you will. So one mission was to make sure that the people, family was comforted if someone was killed. The other was to go and maybe Get, you know, work with the police, et cetera. And so I brought him into my office one day and said, you know, you guys out there, you're getting bad press. You're doing different things. So why don't we put it under one umbrella where you still remain independent and then you do your thing. So if you know as soon as they're shooting, if enough, if enough is going to respond to take care of the family, the next phase one, Street doctor, this is what you do good, so you, you do that. And so they kind of came together, um, and they still work together and communicate. What I'm saying is that we have the artists on here. The mental health thing is really important. You have educators on, on here. You have civil rights leaders on here. We just need to kind of just lay out a plan as to what's the problems. Um, the Marine Corps always taught me. You take one objective at a time, you secure it, and then you move on to the next. And so we should maybe lay out with all the needs we have, what are the priorities? How do every piece that we have fit in as an element to getting the problem resolved or fixed? Does it take legislation? Do we talk about that? Does it take mental health counsel? Does it take, you know, the kinds of things that you're doing, each of us actually are doing? And then we make these networks that, that you have here part of communication and extended network. For example, I'm the chairman of New Jersey Legends of Black Caucus. That's a network in and of itself. And most of my members, believe it or not, live in Essex County, um, the assembly and the senators, et cetera. But then we organized what we call the New Jersey Legend of Black Caucus Civil Rights Leadership Coalition. And we meet once a week right now because of the times we're in with the problems out there. And then we organized with the help of Congressman Donald Payne and Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman and Cory Booker, we organized for the first time in 2015 what is known as New Jersey Black Elected Official Policy Alliance. And that's every quote unquote, black, every black elected official from school board to Congress, I mean, council, mayor, fields, et cetera, 
throughout the state. There's about 450 of us. Now, we, we get elected, we get unelected, but there's no list for you to get to identify who we are. And so we nursed and we charged that, and we just passed legislation so the state would have to keep the list up to date. And so we'll network out. So what you're doing here um, and coming together, there are others doing the same kinds of things that you're doing, I'm talking about vocationally now, in other cities that could come together too. So you can expand on that where it builds itself. But you have to have goals, you have to have missions, and you need to just, I think the people here who have an interest need to just kind of have a, a group, um, an umbrella group, if you will, where everybody come under the umbrella um, and, 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 and move in that direction. That's just a suggestion. I mean, I can go on and on and, and move in another direction. But I think the immediacy is not just to have the Zoom and leave it alone, is to identify the problems. We know right now, I'm going to tell you my greatest fear, and I'll shut up. Right. I came home the night in 1967 of the rise from Cuba to the Marine Corps. Okay. And I told the governor several months ago when there was some stuff brewing that I'm fearful that there's going to be street disturbance. And, and it didn't yep. happen. It was good. But now we have it throughout the country. The reason Newark did not have any incident to date knock on wood is because we'll have organizers were people from the streets and from the community like yourselves. My greatest concern is the more we go to the streets to, to express ourselves about what's happening, the, the greater the, the risk is for something to go wrong. We can't afford to have that now. And that's why this group becomes more important um, at this point in time to identify what our needs are, the immediate needs um, in this city, so we can keep um, the cover on things that don't explode while we do other kinds of things. Cool. cool. Thank you, Senator. I appreciate it. Um, where is the congressman? Congressman, you want to say a few words real quick? <laughs> well, first, let me uh, thank you for inviting me to be uh, uh, a contributor to this effort uh, that uh, that you that you set set forward. Uh, I uh, first want to defer to my um, my senator um, Ronald Rice. <clears throat> and uh, just talk about the tremendous leader he's been uh, served with my father on uh, the Newark City Council way back in the, way back in the day and uh, has been a consistent leader uh, my daughter uh, nah. but you know using the platform to showcase good shit make everybody superheroes that deserve to be make the right people famous you know what I mean um, do it all, big shot to do it all. Um, I just gotta go get my daughter. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. Holla. Keep it positive.